the plates that will be available to consumers on the truck, the plates that their food will be served upon, are paper plate replicas of Saddam's hospitality plates, the plates that he used to use when entertaining guests from other countries, other heads of state. I was invited by Creative Time this last year to uh, collaborate with a restaurant called Park Avenue. And I told the chef, look, I just want to have Iraqi date syrup listed somewhere on the menu. And so he said, okay, that sounds great. And then I said, well, and, and here's my real intervention in all of this. I want the dish to then be served on plates that were looted from Saddam Hussein's palaces in 2003. On eBay, I had actually come across two sellers. One was an Iraqi refugee based in Michigan, and the other was an American soldier who was stationed in Iraq, who were selling the dishware that had come from Saddam's palaces and were taken by Iraqis in the aftermath of the shock and awe campaign. I was amazed that these things were available, but uh, most of my research was happening on eBay at this point anyway, and that came from another project where I'd been reconstructing the artifacts that were looted from the Iraq Museum. And so when I found these plates, I figured one of the ways to really kind of heighten the experience for the di diner was to have something that would then explore the sweetness of the date syrup, the diner's tongue, and then the bitterness of this surface. In that sense, the dish then becomes as much about refusal as it does uh, become about consumption. So the possibility that one would see this delicious dish uh, where it's not only the Debus Warashi, but in this case, it's also a beautiful chop of venison that's served on top of it. And you wouldn't be able to eat it because of the provenance of the plate that it's served on was something that I found really, really uh, strange and very beautiful at the same time and very real. It puts the diner into a position where um, they have to make a kind of decision and perform their ethics.